what's going on everybody it's mike with this old hot rod it's monday tuesday tuesday after the cruise and party and this is like a intro slash disclaimer for the video you're about to watch i did not film much and when i say much i think you probably saw it's like a 15 minute video 14 minute video uh, the reason I didn't film very much, I was running around like crazy, just getting food ready, uh, getting everything all set for the party. And during the cruise, I forgot my GoPro and all I had was my phone. And the last thing I wanted to do was be sticking my phone out the window of my hot rod while I was trying to drive. And the whole time we were on the cruise, I was getting text messages and phone calls people were lost people you know took wrong turns Allie was gone when we left she was uh with her bunch of her friends in the morning bridal shopping dress shopping for a, a bridesmaid shopping dress bride bridesmaid dress shopping i don't know whatever it's just it sucks and i kind of regret it now but at the time, it just there was so much other stuff going on. So this is a disclaimer. It's a short video. I borrowed some footage from my friend Pete, Pete Flavin. He's in the club, club president. And um, <clears throat> I messaged a few people and said, hey, if you guys get any iPhone video, send it my way. I could use it, throw together something quick. So I ended up getting some video from Pete. My buddy Dave and Maria, she, his wife Maria took some video, but unfortunately it was vertical. I can't use that video, so I was unable to use it. Um, but in any event, it's a super short video. It's kind of just like a walk around a few a few times when we stopped. Um, just a video of the cars and just a little bit of the shenanigans. Uh, Allie was in typical Allie form late at night at a party. So you guys ought to enjoy that. And uh, I, I edited out the bad language. In any event... I'll stop talking. Enjoy the video. Short video. Not a lot of cruising. No cruising footage. Just, just us when we're stopped talking, shooting the shit. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, hanging out here at the house. Gonna get ready to take off. Be Flavin's car is getting striped by Brian Cheney. Got a lot of nice cars here. A lot of pretty girls too. Woo woo. Up, cool Corvette. Cody's badass Chevy C20. I think it's a 20. C10. It's a Survivor Cabriolet. You guys own that since 1961. My buddy just bought that. Dylan's truck. Butcher Gonzalez. Earl and his wife's 50 Ford. Got some Saliva 32. You guys probably know about this car. This has been all over the country. Incredible, incredible. Alright, guys. And then Bill Pong. Here's my co-pilot, Brian Cheney doing his thing. Put some oil, oils and logos on Pete Flavin's car. Hi, Michael! Hi, Peter! It's all good, bro. I expect you to have that shit cleaned up when I get back, though. Dude, give him a sniff. He smells good. Yeah? Yeah. You think it's the paint fumes? No, I think it's... Um, this sounds... It looks like Old Spice. Probably is. He looks or like is an Axe Old Spice kind of guy. Spray. You guys do. Yeah. It might be you when you're right. you're going to go your cruise now. <laughs> <laughs> you taking this? I'm checking it out. Take it for a rip. We'll, dude, we'll be riding that later. <laughs> Maria, the beer shirt brother. Dude. <laughs> the beer shirt. Put a big liquor, uh, liquor single basket on the back. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. We can, I can do something. Come right up off of this thing. You guys thirsty? The beer girl. <laughs> We had to pull over because uh, the other half of the, the cruise uh, took a wrong turn. This came at 25 in there. Kaylee! Yeah. Hello! Ah, she's hiding. Yo, K Mac! What's up, girl? K Mac Racing. K Mac! K Mac and J 
cheese at gmail.org.net.com. <laughs> you can't hide from me, you know that. I know. I know. How's that car? Pretty fast? Yeah. Yeah? Psst. Ah! Oh my god. All right. No All free rides. Like that. Yeah. yeah. Tissues? Oh. That's just my... Hey, why don't you take my phone and video? I, I, I can't video. There's Butch Rosales. Look at that handsome guy. What's, what's it doing? So, if I crank them in, I'm getting more air or fuel. If you crank them in, you're going to get less fuel. Less fuel. I'm not getting less fuel. Oh, no? It's fault. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's air. That's your air. Yeah. So, so, so your fuel is less in... air, I think. I, I would agree like with that. So, so you're you know saying it's getting less. Half, I think one, I need a little less air. It's that one wasn't very far out. Really running shit. Half, like what? Like you're not getting enough fuel. Kind half, of, uh, like. We're down at Tahonet Market, Tahonet Village Market. It's a nice little, nice little place down here in Wareham. And I uh, just had some good home cooked food. And uh, everybody's heading back out to their cars now. I'm gonna hit the road, head down to the train bridge, down on the Cape Cod Canal. And we're gonna head up through uh, Mount Stanley State Forest. Such a cool place, isn't it? Love it down here. Now we just got to make sure everybody starts. We can, we can, you can't probably from here. From the other side, you can walk up the hill, go across the dike. There's like a big pond up there. They stock it with bass. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Waterfall. Yeah, a little waterfall over there and stuff. It's a little survivor hot rod. How cool is this thing, huh? This was his uncle's car. Was it really? Yeah, he ended up finding it and buying it back. Rods? Holding the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the exhaust. Oh, isn't this awesome, huh? He ended up finding it and buying it back off from a guy in Long Island. This was his uncle's car. No way, right? really? Yeah, his uncle built it, yeah. I mean, it was kind of like... It was, it was pretty good exactly, it. yeah. This car has never been changed. Super yeah. Yeah. It's just been maintained. The seats are like just so 70s. Oh, it's awesome. It was built in, I think, early 50s. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the real deal. Super cool. These ones. This one's tub. It's Phaeton. 454 big block Chevy. It's one of Russell's old cars. Beautiful car. This is Butch Rosales 40 Ford sedan. This is the car that the rear axle that I got from Milwaukee Hot Rod came out of 
they ended up updating it with a brand new nine inch. Guys up at Millworks did an awesome job on this car. Beautiful Lincoln wheel. Family hot rod, gotta love it. Everybody needs one of them. Yep. Someday I'll finish my sedan. <laughs> Dave and Marie Horan's 29 Roadster. A lot of nice cars here today. Cool. You guys want to hit the road? Yes, we'll head down, to, head down to the canal. Go to go down to the train bridge. Just stop there for a quick minute and then we'll hit the road and head back to... Should I do like a paint night here? Yeah, yeah. let's do a paint night! Yeah, yeah dude, let's do it. Let's man. do a Set paint night! Bring me a sheet metal. Okay. I'll give you 40 years, Brian. <laughs> oh, you got into a balloon patch. <laughs> this is my voice! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hereditary. You want me to call my no. Okay. Be twice as bad. You're welcome. I won't do it. So now you owe me money for not calling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bill, Carter. Too, too much. Too much. I can't, I can't help it. I drink too much. You want me to drink that one? No. I can't. Well, you said you drank too much. Yeah. I thought maybe you wanted to get rid of it. Because I haven't even eaten that much. You've been eating all afternoon. No, I made everybody else eat all afternoon. I didn't get any brisket. I didn't get no brisket. I didn't get any brisket last year. No Did you guys brisket. get any food when you're at my place? Yeah, I got yeah. some pigs. It was Did good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I got a burger and I got pig and some all this. I got every side I could. It was so good. I was afraid that yes. Because we cooked. We waited a little bit because the pig started later. Rip it up. So Style it up. Do a burn up. I ate it all. Yeah. It was delicious. Cooked a little later than usual, but. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, yeah, yeah, my pleasure. Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, uh, Sunday afternoon, and I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that came out yesterday. Uh, slept in this morning. I was planning on going down to the Stafford Springs swap meet, but that didn't happen, man. I was pretty wiped out from the past few days, getting ready for the party and then hanging out late last night with everybody. Uh, Ellie and I are going to enjoy the rest of the day. We're going to go out, probably down to Plymouth, take the coupe, go for a nice drive. She was bummed. I was bummed. She wasn't able to take a drive in the in the car yesterday when we went out on our cruise. So we're going to uh, we're just going to take the rest of the day and go enjoy ourselves. We'll grab a bite to eat and just take a nice take a nice ride. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. Thank you to the people that showed up, that came out, and just made. Made for a fun time, made for a fun day, fun fun night. I went on the cruise. The cruise was fun, it was something different. I know a couple of people got separated, but I guess it's to be expected, no one really cared. It wasn't that big of a deal. No breakdowns, everybody who left here made it back, which is awesome. And uh, we just had a good time, thanks to Brian Chaney. Definitely looking forward to having him come back each year and maybe doing more and more, you know? Um, that he did some lines on the 34 firewall which are really cool and i'll take a picture of those i'll post them up later i just want to do a quick video ali and i we just get done cleaning up everything's put away and i uh, pulled the coop up we're going to take a ride so uh, thanks to jay greco for going around with his hat and and like asking people for donations i've never asked anybody for anything uh, i do this this workout, hot rod get together hot rod hangout you want to call it that just because I like getting people together and just having fun with my friends. And I made more friends this year and it's pretty cool. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of new faces this year. A lot of, we had a lot of fun. There were a lot of cool cars. And uh, yeah, it's just cool to get to hang out with everybody. And just, just be super chill and relaxed. And I know I'm running around like a mental person, but you know, all the pressure's on me, I guess. But anyways, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to Jay. Thank you to everybody who, who pitched in and uh, just gave something back. Again, I, I never asked, but it certainly is appreciated. And uh, just looking forward to the next year's party. So uh, I just want to say thanks. And we'll uh, time to get back onto that tee. I think what I'm going to do, because these days are getting so short, uh, I think I'm going to end up rolling that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the welding that I need to get done, done on the car. Um, and then I think I'm going to roll it down into the big shop.
because the days are getting shorter. I've been working long days and I get home, it's like seven o'clock at night. And I really can't do much outside in the dark without setting up lights and it's a pain in the ass. Everything's getting super rusty too and I'm not, not really all that pumped about that. But I wanna get that thing fired up running and driving and I'm pretty sure I can get it done pretty quick. Even if I just roll it, I can probably just roll it underneath the lean-to and do what I gotta do underneath the lean-to. So maybe we'll just, I'll just do that. But I got my steering, my tie rods in the other day. I just ordered brand new ones from Speedway because the ones I had were kind of rough. They were pitted and bent. They were just all jacked up. So I got those. I ended up having to buy them extra long because you can't get them pre, pre like cut to the length because they're all back ordered. So I ended up buying longer ones. So I got to cut them down and just run a tap through them, which I have. Um, that's it. So I'm gonna get those in. I'll get that steering box mounted, and that thing will be, that thing will at least be steering. And uh, like I said, I want to get the finish weld, get get some things welded completely, um, get the thing sitting on the ground level, so I know with my, so I can set the correct axle caster. Once that's done, I'm good. I'll roll it out back and just uh, pick away at it underneath the lean-to, or even better inside the shop. So. I just want to say thanks to everybody again. Appreciate everybody coming out and hanging out and having a good time with us yesterday. So I'm going to take Allie for a cruise now because I like going out and cruising with my girl. She's cool. See you guys. Ryan Chaney did some striping on the firewall of my 34 while he was waiting for paint to dry on Pete Flavin's 33 coupe. I said throw some lines on the, on the 34. He somewhat matched the shocks on the front of the car. During, during our cruise, I had responded and said, hey, do do some more. I want you to do this, this, and this on the coop. And I never hit send on the, on the text message, so he didn't get it. So he'll come back. He's going to do some more work on the 34. But I'm back on the T. I'm working on the, I'm working on the Roadster, working on the steering right now. That thing is going to be rolled into the big shop this week, and I'm going to get working on that. From from now on, I'm going to be working on it in the big garage. And the reason for that is the days are getting shorter. I've been working by myself, long days. And when I get home, it's dark. And I just don't feel like setting up lights and all this other stuff. And I need to have a canopy in order to have the lights hanging down. It's a pain in the butt. It's just not worth it. So at this point now, I'm going to put the car, once it can steer, I'm going to put the car in the big garage and I'm going to work on it down there. So you guys will be able to start seeing some pretty regular updates on the 27 roadster just like we were doing before so uh hopefully you're gonna make some big strides on that thing coming up real soon so all right guys see ya